There was a protest uh, in Branson, Missouri, against the Dixie Outfitters store uh, for the alleged uh, connection between uh, one of the owners of the store and the KKK. And I want to show you a little bit of what one of the counter protesters did there. So these are people, you know, flying the Confederate flag and then also shouting about what they intend to teach their grandchildren. Okay, so if if shouting at the Black Lives Matter protesters, I'm gonna teach my grandchildren to hate all of you, wasn't clear enough, and the little shimmy with the Confederate battle flag wasn't enough, the KKK life chant, that that sells the message. I get where she's coming from now. Yeah, I, I, I how much longer are people going to try to pretend this is about heritage and mm -hmm. not, not not hate, as they say? I mean, people have had emo phases longer than the Confederacy existed. So, um, I'm not, it's true. Think about it. It's true. We all make mistakes, and that's a pretty bad one. But you know, like, I'm Wait, just are saying, you mistakes. admitting? Did you? No, I quickly transitioned into pop punk, and then I got into metal. So there you I, go. I got, there you go. And you've been living that life ever since. Yeah, yeah. It's called a glow up. Um, <laughs> Wow, I didn't expect to have so much fun with this story, but yeah, you're right. No, well, like, and I, I was so thinking about this morning. What, so, are you guys still going to be like cheering about the Confederacy in 10 years? In 50 years? In 200 years? Is that still the thing that you're going to be drawing your personal pride from? Like, has the South not done anything since then that maybe you could focus on a little bit? Like a sports dynasty? or a cuisine, you know? There's nothing since then, just the, the treason and the slavery and stuff like that. God. Right. Yeah, I, I, this is, this is, this is, I don't know, I, I try to, like when I talk to people who aren't like, you know, as clued in on this issue, it's just like, why do like, you know, like, why does it matter? Like, let them just do what they want. Well, it's like, think about any other conflict, any other armed conflict. Let's, let's just pick one, let's say Vietnam, arguably much, more gray area of who came out of that on top mm -hmm. uh, much more gray area you would never let the vietnamese fly a flag here ever you would never let any other country fly a flag here that we had been in a military conflict with especially if they lost so why why would you do that here um and this like that video underscores what this is really about this is about uh you know white supremacy is about establishing trying to establish dominance and it's about inflicting uh terror mm -hmm. into uh, a black community they're trying to intimidate and scare uh their black neighbors their black community members because this has like we said at the onset this is nothing about heritage because there is no heritage mm -hmm. it's about it's about white supremacy it's about hatred and these deep down these people are evil so I, I this is this is grotesque, but you know, they're saying the quiet they're saying the quiet part loud here. Yeah, and it's just it's like I know that the right loves to say like the left and their identity politics. That's all this is. It's you you identify with a mythical conception of what that time and place were about, such that people outside of the Confederacy love the flag. Racists love the flag because of what it obviously stands for, and then what they won't admit that it stands for, but it does clearly stand for. Okay, so I want to turn to this particular store, because this is a protest against one place. Um, Dixie Outfitters says on its website that it's dedicated to preserving, showing pride in, and educating others about true Southern history and the Southern way of life through art and apparel. I had never heard of this place before, and honestly... 20 minutes after we stopped talking about the store, I'm not going to remember anymore. But I understand now, after going to their website, why some people have a problem with it, beyond just the fact that its owner apparently was once connected to the KKK, according to uh, newspaper reports. So I went through, and I plucked out just a few of their t-shirts to show you. So some are what you might expect. Things like this, with the Confederate flag, and a bunch of people from the Confederacy saying that they're heroes, effectively. That's including, by the way, Nathan Bedford Forrest. 
So just in case it wasn't clear where this is coming from, KKK founders are heroes. You've got Trump with the Confederate flag when he's from New York. Like, he's not... He's a New York (laughs) tower-living golden elite. I don't get it. But anyway, with the Punisher skull, which the right has now co-opted to mean the police are allowed to kill whoever they want, especially if the people they're killing are not white. So you get that. Uh, You've got, let's see... um, I'll never abandon my southern heritage to comfort your ignorance with a skull. There's a little bit of ignorance on display, I'm just going to admit. But then there's weird stuff like, why is Baby Yoda on a Confederate flag, honestly? Like, I feel like they're just trying to make money now. I don't think Baby Yoda is That's extremely under copyright, (laughs) You can't. No, no, I checked. Disney okayed this. Oh, yeah, Disney's cool. (laughs) You can't put Baby Yoda on a Confederate flag. And then, by the way... And I look again, I don't know Dixie Outfitters. They have a lot of animal shirts. Go look at their website. These are some okay. of the worst shirts I've ever seen in my life. I think like the Yoda one is just funny, but anyway. But like what a thing, man. There's so much that hypothetically to be proud of that you've accomplished, that your family has accomplished. Things that weren't 130 years ago in treasonous. I just won't understand it ever. Um, But I appreciate that people are trying to push back a little bit against this, uh, because that's the only way progress is going to come. And I know that the response is going to be, well, this is part of our history. There was a great tweet. It might have been from Maura Quint. I forget exactly. But she said, you know, I know that something bad happened in Germany a long time ago, but we don't know what because they took down all the statues. Like, that's not actually how it works. We're still going to have historians analyzing this. Anyway, frustrating. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.